Welcome everyone who's new. Welcome back everyone who's returning. My name is Jack, Life Purpose Coach, and today I'm going to do a career reading. All right, now, with career, it should be in alignment with your life purpose. Your life purpose is not your career path. Your career path is a tiny part of your life purpose. Okay. All righty. Um, I feel like maybe there's been like a lot of roadblocks um, on your career path, maybe not getting a promotion you want or a job you want, maybe business slowing down or something like that. It's like the universe is trying to pivot you and you're like, but I don't want to. Why is it not going the way I want it to go? Does that make sense for you guys? All right. So let's see. Um, I'm going to use my secret garden oracle deck. I haven't used this in a while. Okay. Let's see. God's first universe, divine creative all things. Only for our highest good, bringing harm to none. What is the guidance for us today regarding career? And friendly reminder, guys, we do have a 50K like goal. So please tap, tap, tap the screen to like the live. You guys are doing a great job. And please hit that share arrow just so the reading reaches all who are meant to receive it. Okay? So let's see. <laughs> Breathe. Stop stressing about your career. Look at this. Breathe. This says, slow down and contemplate the T. Violets and ivy tangled around the eaves. Okay. Um, so I feel like you guys need to be more in the present moment. You need to relax. Also, take your focus off your career. You're like overthinking it. Way overthinking it. My job doesn't have to be my life path itself. Correct. Right. Wildflower. Live an uncontrolled life, free to grow anywhere and bound by nothing. Okay, some of you may be looking for, this is confirmation to look for a job, like maybe that's remote, um, maybe one that allows you to travel, or maybe starting your own business where you work virtually, starting something virtually, um, where you have more freedom and flexibility in your schedule. I just feel like you guys are tired of like the old paradigm of like, Going to work, nine to five, five days a week, coming home, da 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 da. I feel like you just want more freedom to, to like live your life and experience the world. Does that make sense? I f I'm, I'm feeling kind of like trapped, honestly, a little trapped. And then dream. Have a cup of tea in the garden and find yourself in a good book. Guys, I feel like the breathe and the dream card on other on either side of the wildflower. Think about flowers, right? Creation, okay? Birth, something that's growing beautifully, right? A beautiful creation. There we go. So you need to slow down enough to discern what you want to create, right? Um, I just feel like you've kind of been boxing in your thinking with regard to your career path. And the options are limitless. Like, the universe wants you to be free. Look, persevere. Leave no stone unturned. Meaning, like, don't limit yourself. Get out of this old paradigm, this very, like, Pluto and Capricorn energy where you have to, like, live your life by the book, okay? Or by the way society has taught you to live your life. You do not have to do that. Uh, Kaylee, yes, we just started. It's your choice, it's completely your choice. So if you decide to stay where you are, that's on you. If you decide to get yourself out of where you are, that's on you as well, right? Like I, I remember when I left my corporate job and listen, I was making good money, I, but I was traveling a lot. I was super tired. I was undervalued. I definitely you know, was doing a lot more than what was in my job description. But guys, I was tired. I was so tired. I. Like there was so much like, po like politic, like office politics and all that other crap, you know, and I just felt boxed in. There was no upward mobility, at least no upward mobility I wanted to take advantage of. Um, so I made a change. I, oh, I got to stop banging. Um, I started my business as a side hustle when I was still in my career. Okay. I started it in 2016. Um, I don't think I've ever told you guys this, guys this full story, but we're doing a career reading, so it's it's relevant. So when I graduated with my master's degree in nutrition and dietetics, I started a business called Lifestyle Nutrition, okay? Because my degree was in nutrition and dietetics, clearly. All right, so I was doing a lot of nutrition coaching, um, fitness coaching, 
et cetera, et cetera. But I was doing it on the side in addition to my corporate job. And then in 2019, I decided to leave my corporate job and step fully into lifestyle nutrition because my business was doing really, really well. And I was making more money with my business. Could I have left my corporate job sooner? 100%. I was just scared at the time. Okay, so I just want to validate it's okay to be scared. Um, it's okay to be a little freaked out about starting something new like that. That's like way out of your comfort zone. Okay. Um, but guys, my business started in the nutrition space. And then I shifted from like nutrition and fitness coaching to nutrition and self-care, including like meditation practice. And then I started the Holistic Siren, which went into like Reiki health and wellness of your physical and emotional bodies and the tarot. And now look, I'm a life purpose coach now. Do you see how like it grew in stages? What do flowers do? They grow in stages. Oh my God, get out of here. Anyway. Okay, um, is this like relevant for you guys? Like, is this helpful to you? Like me sharing my story? If you guys notice and you look at my, if you look at my content, my content has shifted over the last, oh my God, hold on, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, the last seven years. My content has shifted. When you guys first found me as the Holistic Siren, I was straight up just doing tarot and Reiki. And I was just delivering guidance messages. Now you're seeing in my content how I'm I'm giving life purpose direction and advice, right? And I am doing it through the tarot still a little bit, but you guys are going to see me transition a little out of the tarot and more into practical advice that you guys can use to embrace your life purpose. Well, figure out what it is and then embrace it. Does that make sense? Okay, good. Yeah. And guys, no one really believed in me. Like, no one really supported me. Everyone wanted me to stay in a nine to five, like, oh, you need your benefits and blah, blah, blah. Guys, just like everything else you've overcome in life, you will figure it out. I fucking promise you. I promise you, you will figure it out. I figured out how to establish my LLC, my business. I figured out how to get insurance. I figured out how to establish... Um, a retirement plan. I figured it out. You have a brain, you have a computer or a phone, you can figure it out. And there's lots of free resources on YouTube. I mean, you can literally teach yourself anything. Literally. You just have to believe in yourself, you guys. It's literally your own personal blocks. It's within your shadow that needs to be healed or shadow aspects that need to be healed and integrated, right? That's literally what's the only thing that's really blocking you. So once you identify the root cause of those blocks and you release them and you integrate the lesson, you can do what I do, right? And I'm not saying like a life purpose coach if that's not what you wanna do, but my uh, aligned with my story, you get what I'm saying? Um, the, I, I've started collective messages for my viewers. It's exactly what I'm talking about. What are you even saying to me right now? Um, anyway. <laughs> But let me know, guys. Comment helpful if this is helpful. Um, I just feel like you guys need like a little kick in your butt, honestly. Like you, you can do this. You can do it. One hundred and ten percent. I am one of the biggest self doubters. I judge myself pretty consistently. Michelle, how do you find those shadows that? Are definitely holding me back okay so how you find your shadow is you're gonna hold on so you're gonna grab your journal this is my journal um, you're gonna grab your journal and you're going to write down all your insecurities okay all your insecurities and once you write those down you're going to take a minute and Go back in your memory and remember the first memory you have of feeling that insecurity. Okay, you got to get to the root cause of it. All right, once you get to the root cause of it, then you can start healing through it. 
Oh, hi, Alicia. Yes, you're randomly here for a reason. Oh, yeah, this isn't my house, guys. I'm in New Jersey, actually. I'm at my best friend's house for my bachelorette party. Um, but, of course, I brought my tripod and everything. But anyway, uh, let's get some more messages. Let's see. All that glitters. Um, I feel like some of you... Yin. Okay. This is the Divine Feminine. Um, trust your intuition with uh, new opportunities, you guys. This is a career reading for anyone who's new here. But this card, All That Glitters, um, it's about not focusing on the material gain. I feel like a lot of you guys are... A lot of you guys are like, okay, well, if I want to like feel fulfilled and live my purpose, how am I going to make money doing it? So that's where a lot of you guys are tripping up a little. If you focus on the money first, you will never truly figure out your life purpose. Okay. Money is a human construct. Your life purpose is your soul mission. It's spiritual. You can't figure out something spiritual by fixating on something physical. Does that make sense? Let me say that again. You can't figure out something spiritual, like your life purpose, because it's your soul's mission, through fixation on something physical. Not going to work. Not going to work. Okay? Um, so this is like, get out of like the materialistic mindset, get out of the fixation on the money. Um, look beneath the surface. Like if there's, if you guys are considering like, um, I've been seeing a lot of ads for like, um, uh, drop shipping and uh, like make money fast doing this with you know what I'm saying watch out for those things because <laughs> I'm sorry it's not that easy it's not that easy okay um, there's a certain reality to it <laughs> okay um, just don't look for like the easy way out just because it's making you money if you're drawn to something because of the amount of money it's going to make you that is the wrong direction if you're drawn to something that that lights up your heart space that you feel passionate about and that you can make money doing sure go for it but if you're passionate about something guys you can make money doing it 100 percent, 110 percent. okay so i'm gonna leave that there but let's um let's pop into the tarot that was fast well, Oh, shit. So what do you guys like want to do? What do you feel your life purpose is? Like what's the career change you want to make? Or what are you struggling with in your career? Let's see overall energy. Yeah. Uh K-Y-N-X-I-N. What is your name again, love? I have no idea what my purpose. I was actually con considering doing drop shipping. I do drop shipping, but you guys, it's like, it's not, it's not like as easy as people make it out to be. Struggling to build. I want to leave corporate medicine and create my own skincare name. Oh, cool, Jana. Chalice, did you mean to say inventory? Struggling to build, help others is my sole mission. Um, okay, some lady, uh, what's your name, love? And uh, what, like, how do you want to help people? How do you want to help people? Kindle, that's right. Hey, Kindle. Tana, hi, Tana. I'm just pulling all the cards for the Celtic Cross guys while I'm looking at your comments. And if you guys have questions about my journey and how I did what I did, put them in the comments. This is like, I always get surprised when I like, all you guys, a lot of you want to make these changes and I literally, I literally have done it multiple times. I've started multiple businesses and you guys don't ask me any questions about it. You guys want to learn? I'm offering free information, man. I 
I started in medicine, but I've been in nonprofit world now for over 10 years. Oh, wow. So, Tana, how exactly do you want to help people specifically about community? What do you actually want to do? What is your idea, guys? Put it in the comments, man. And please keep tapping the screen to like the live. We got a 50K like oil. y'all. Uh, Jess, I have time for a few, yes. Link is in my bio if anyone wants to book a one question reading. CEO, oh, okay, there we go. The nonprofit for women veterans transition out of the military into. Oh, cool. That's amazing. That is so needed. So is that so is that tied to what you want to do as part of your purpose? Okay. Civilian life. Okay. All right, guys. So um, we're gonna pop into the re the tarot. Okay, we're gonna clarify everything. So we have persevere and four of wands. So I really love this because. If you persevere, if you keep going, Four of Wands, their success, crossing of a finish line here. Okay, so Four of Wands is career success. So that's really beautiful. That's the foundation of the reading. Okay, so the overall energy for your career is Nine of Pentacles. You're meant to stand on your own two feet, maybe be an independent contractor or do something independently, maybe something um, with regard to health and wellness, um, like healing of the body it could also be um self-worth the way you you the way people see themselves um it could be in a helping people build stronger finances um build stronger like self-value again like i said self-worth healing um could have something to do with property as well could also be like tying in your conventional knowledge into something that you are passionate about that maybe you've already started learning about potentially okay um the overall energy i feel is you know you're meant to be more abundant in your career than you are now and it's true with the nine of pentacles here Okay, what's crossing you? Knight of Cups. Um, maybe not moving forward with this heart-based idea. Maybe not moving forward with this heart-based idea. Okay, um, so Nine of Pentacles is telling me that you have like this really abundant, like you have a lot of knowledge and expertise and you are very valuable as far as in your career space, okay? Knight of Cups, maybe you're not asking for what you want. Like maybe you struggle with regard to establishing pricing or struggle in asking for a raise or something along those lines. Or you just don't, you don't, okay. Starting a business is an act of self-love, okay? It is truly an act of self-love because a business is an extension of you. You're putting your energy into something you love, right? And it's something heart-centered. So I feel like there may be a lack of belief in your ability to do this. Um, or maybe for some of you, you're just waiting for someone to hand it to you. And the Nine of Pentacles is telling me you got to generate it on, you got to do it on your own. You got to generate it on your own, okay? Um, there's no like white knight coming to save you. Like you're... I feel like you guys, uh, the universe has been like really like pushing you in a direction or giving you a lot of signs and you're sitting here like, who's going to save me? Who's going to like give me the direct answer? Spirit's giving you the answer, but no one's going to like hand hold you through it, right? Don't be, I also feel like there's, this isn't in the cards, I'm just channeling this. You're afraid to make a mistake. You're afraid to make a mistake. Um, and the thing is, guys, there's no reward without risk. And did I make mistakes in starting my business? For sure. But 
I learned from them and it helped me build my business more strong into a strong, I built stronger foundations because of those mistakes. Okay. But don't wait for someone to hand you something. It's not going to happen. Okay. No one's coming here to save you in your career. You've got to do it on your own. This is like, I feel like this is the, the universe, like saying you got to step into your power, dude. You got to step into your power big time. And you got to follow your heart, follow your dreams. Look, we have the dream card. Follow your dreams. Something you think is out of reach is definitely within reach. Sorry, my eye is itching. Okay. Now, what to focus on? I feel like this was in the same position yesterday. Six of Cups. What to focus on? Some Whatever you're wanting to build could be of a healing nature. Maybe you have healing abilities. Maybe it's tied to helping families. Um or uh, again, property for families or something like that. Um, but it has something to do with gifting healing in some way, okay? Um, something you've grieved and healed from, I said, this, I said this yesterday, paying it forward, paying healing forward in whatever respective way that is for you. You have to determine that, right? So, the uh, the recent past, you have the Six of Swords. So you could have moved on from something like very stressful or strenuous, um, some like a difficult situation, maybe a toxic work environment. Maybe you mentally have decided, you know what, I need to get out of here. I need to get out of this career or out of this specific job. It's time for me to move on. Or maybe you actually did move on. I don't know. Let me know how it resonates for you in the comments. Um, but there was some sort of decision made that I deserve better, it's, I need to move on. Whether you took action on it or not yet, that's up to you. Okay. Um, now I'm going to clarify this because it's a major, um, but your strength is the hanged man. Um, you're never out of time. You're never out of time. Um, you're not out of time. You didn't miss the boat. You didn't miss the opportunity. That's Pisces energy. Um, we have Pisces and Libra energy and we are in Libra season. But the hanged man is, you have, your strength is, the universe is giving you this time to look at the scheme of your life, look at what you like about your career and what you don't, what makes you happy, what doesn't, what are your goals, what are your objectives in your career. So if you guys, like, what are your goals in changing your career? Like, what do you want more of? Do you want more flexibility in your schedule? Do you want more money? Do you want more time for travel? Like, what is important to you? Okay. Hang man, you've got to consider what's important to you. And also, because the career is tied to paying it forward, like helping people in some sort of way, how... What have you healed from? You got to look at look at things from a different perspective. And your strength is you're able to look at situations from a different perspective. Okay. Um, near future is Page of Swords. So there could be an offer coming in. Um, or you guys are going to start learning how to do something. This is definitely learning. Maybe learning how to get out of your career. Or learning how to get out of your own way mentally, like reframing your mindset and finally pursuing whatever your heart is, is guiding you toward. There's something here about learning, but let's, oh, I didn't clarify the hangman. Hold on. Uh, Jana go, uh, I fixed it yesterday. If you go back, you should be able to now. Oh my God, the emperor. <gasps> okay, who's considering applying for a higher level position or entrepreneurship? Look at this. This is Aries energy. And we got the full moon in Aries. Yes, uh, full moon in Aries tomorrow. Thank you. Um, who's considering entrepreneurship here? Comment me. Who? Because you've been sitting around waiting. Yeah, lots of you. Uh-huh. Guys.
guys, you're ready. You've gained enough knowledge and information. You've observed long enough. It's time. It's time. I'm telling y'all. I think this came in, uh, came, um, th this message I'm getting came in a reading like last week or something. Um, if you are being guided by the universe, your spirit guides, whatever, to leave a job or take a new direction, start a business, and you don't do it, guess what? In eclipse season, your world is going to get rocked, okay? Let me tell you something. You don't need to be psychic to see this um, after like, you know, seeing the news and like what's going on in the job market and like the economy in the U.S. because I live in the U.S., right? Um, guys, I'm telling you, I've had dreams about like massive corporate layoffs. I've had dreams about big businesses going out of business. Um, like a lot of an influx of unemployment is what I'm feeling, okay? Like worse than 2020. Um, so... I feel like the universe is really pushing you to start this, whatever your idea is, because guess what? Your world might get rocked, and if you don't formulate the plan now, you're going to be fucking scrambling. Like, I, I hate to say it like that, but I feel like I've been, like, gently delivering this message for months, and Spirit is like, you need to be more of yourself and give them that tough love. Okay, so this is tough love, guys. If you don't get your ass moving, your world is going to feel more rocked than it is now, than it feels now, okay? If you don't start the business or make the change that you're being guided to make, the universe is going to make you more uncomfortable until you move forward. Yeah, and then Pluto is moving into Aquarius next year as well, okay? Um, I forget when Pluto was in Aquarius this year for like a very short time. So we got like a little, a little view of what it was going to be like. So, and I'm not saying this to scare you guys. It's just the reality, man. It is the reality. It's just like the story I told you about when I, you know, was shown to leave, um, you know, a toxic relationship I was in with my ex-fiance. All of 2021, I was guided to leave that relationship and I didn't. I had three opportunities. I didn't. And then by the end of 2021, my world got rocked. There were cops involved. I was, I had PTSD from that experience. I, it could have been so much easier if I had just faced my fear and left early. So apply that to your career. Okay. If I had stayed, if I had stayed in the court in corporate life, guys, I can't even imagine it because it sucked. I didn't like it at all. I didn't like it at all. I didn't like a corporation or another person dictating my schedule, dictating when I can take time off. I have to ask permission to take time off. That is such an ass backwards concept to me. I have to ask another person when I can take care of myself. Oh, please, can I have this weekend off? Fuck off. No, I'm taking it off, man. I think that's ridiculous. And I think working eight hours a day, which is not really eight, it's like 10 or 12, that's not no with, with like a one hour break. I think that's ridiculous. I think that's ridiculous. It's, it's not like, it's not in sync with our normal, like human biological cycles. Just saying. Anyway, sorry, I'm done ranting. I'm going to shut up, but I'm going to clarify the strength, but I'm just, I'm, I'm not trying to be mean or scare you guys. I'm just trying to like get you going so you don't feel more anxious when eclipse season comes and the universe really rocks you. Does that make sense? Yeah, Becca, you get a 30 minute break. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Okay. Do you guys want to know after I do my TikTok lives with you, I take like a, like a two to three hour break, sometimes four. And then I'll go back in my office. I'll work for like another hour or two if I feel like it. And then I'm done. I'm done. If I really wanted to, guys, I could be done at 11 o'clock if I don't have one-on-one -on -one sessions. Okay, Wendy, what kind of light worker are you? What healing are you bringing to the collective? Okay. And I want that for you guys. 
I want that for you guys. I really do. Like I wouldn't, if I didn't care, I wouldn't be wasting my energy. Do you know, have you noticed that I've been on here every single morning? Whereas like a month ago, I was only on here like maybe three days a week because spirit is like, they need to get going. Okay. It's not just because I want to come on here for my business. It's because spirit has been guiding me, which is part of my purpose to help you guys to get going. That's how, that's how big it is. You guys. Okay. Like I truly love you. I truly want you to succeed. I truly want you to be happy, but it's not just gonna be served to you by a white knight on a silver platter. It's just not. It's not the reality. It's not reality. It's not. Oh, shit. Hold on. Uh. Oh my God. High priestess. Three, guys, you just got, we just got three major arcanas in your strength section of the reading. And it's your time, Ms. About to be Mrs. Yeah. I know, guys, 16 days until my wedding. I am like, it's so crazy. It's so crazy. Um, hangman. So we have Pisces. We have double Pisces and then Aries. Guys, what was going on? I know I love you guys. Um, so I'm thinking about streaming my wedding, my ceremony, if you guys want to see it. Let me know in the comments if you want to see it. I'm thinking about streaming it on TikTok. Um, because I've been talking about it for months. <laughs> cool. All right. The soul family hath spoken. <laughs> soul family hath spoken. All right. Anyway, hangman and and a. Uh, High Priestess, Pisces. What was going on, guys? Um, I, I've been saying, this has been coming up a lot. What was going on for y'all in February? There's something about entrepreneurship or a career change or shift that you started thinking about or that happened in February. 222 likes. Thank you, Stacey, for calling that out. There was some like executive decision that you made. Yeah. So I'll give you guys an example. That was when I launched the How to Be a Healer workshop to teach you guys how to um, step into your healing abilities, connect with your spirit guides, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Um, and that workshop still works, um, but it led me to gaining more clarity on, oh, that is part of my life purpose is helping people embrace their healing abilities and what? Pay it forward, right? Yeah, so a lot of you actually took my class, the first round of how to be a healer in um, February, right? But do you see how like me helping, me developing a class to help healers step into their abilities led me to become a life purpose coach because part of your purpose is to heal the collective. That's what we're all here to do. That's what we're all here to do. That's, that is an integral part of your, of your soul's mission. Your life purpose is to bring more love into the world. And if you just so happen to do it through your healing abilities or your career, fantastic. Okay. So, hold on. For some of you, I'm not gonna lie, you have you have like um, a, a Claire that's very strong, like a Claire Cognizance, Clairvoyance, Claire Audience, Claire Sentience. Um, there's some sort of like your intuition is really strong, and your strength is you already know what career move you need to make, what power move you need to make. Your intuition is very very on point. Okay. Yeah, let me know which Claire is your strongest. Clairvoyant, clairaudient, clairsentient, claircognizant. There's some I heard Claire's. So there's something here about 
getting stronger in your clairs because I'm not going to lie to you guys. I've also been having a lot of dreams about the normalization of psychic abilities. Like with my life purpose coaching, I use my abilities in my life purpose coaching, but I also use my experience, right? My knowledge. Do you see where I'm going with this? Like I channel guidance, but I also use my own personal experience and knowledge base to have to in conjunction with that. There's something about here using like your your conventional knowledge, um, your your skill set, and then tying it into like your Claire, your strongest Claire. There's something about channel like you're going to be channeling in this like new career path, or it's just trusting your intuition. Um, with regard to this career change you want to make. Um, but also the emperor, guys, is an authority. It's almost like you guys are, are kind of like hiding something here too with the high priestess. Your strength is... You're really... Okay, here we go. You're really good at seeing where people hide their power or where they give their power away. Or where they're disempowered and you can help them resolve it by giving them structure, by giving them action steps, maybe through some form of education or mentorship. It's making sense. Okay. And you can educate and mentor in a lot of different ways, you guys. Anyway, let me move on. Um, suggested approach. Suggested approach to your career. Three of Wands. Um, consider consider a wider view of options. Maybe consider putting something creative out there. Okay. Um, um, the suggested approach for some of you is... The, uh, the career change you're considering that either, again, involves travel, um, involves working from working virtually so you can travel, and it's tied to something creative. The number three is very relevant here. That's the suggested approach. Go that direction. So let me know what that means to you guys. Uh, Tana, I feel that from you, mentorship. What do you mean, my love? I feel pulled in multiple directions. Yeah. So, guys, the three of wands is choosing one direction and committing to it. <gasps> Marty, you'll be happy, Jack. Homework already done. I love you. That does make me happy because it gives me more time to review it. Been seeing. Oh, Devin, that's awesome. Congrats. I've been seeing those numbers, too. Yeah, guys, so a lot of you have a lot of different ideas. Choose one and expand upon that. Become a master in that idea. And then once you've mastered that, go on to the next idea. Do not fall into the trap of being a jack of all trades, master of none. Like when you said it clicked, that's what I want to do. Help other the way you're helping me. Alicia, oh well. Um, matcha, it is. It is. Tana, have you considered working with me on a one-on-one -on -one basis? Saw 555 leaving my work in a full flare-up. Ooh, Alicia, what kind of flare-up? I know, sometimes, like, when I'm really stressed, I get, like, eczema flare-ups, like, around my face. Ugh, it's so awful. Okay, Tana. Are we making this happen? <laughs> when did you want to start working together? Marty, actually, if you guys saw him comment, he's one of my one-on-one -on -one clients. And yes, you get homework. <laughs> okay, cool. Anyway, I'm gonna clarify the three of wands a little bit. Um, but expanding your horizons, but again, focusing on one thing. Okay, so Tana, um, are you actually ready to make an investment like that, though? It is a four-figure investment, my love. 
I'm just being transparent with you. Okay. Yeah, guys. Oh, my God. Look, you have so many ideas. Not sure which one to go with. Choose the one that you're most passionate about in the moment. Okay? Can't make this up. Also, um... If something seems too good to be true, it is. So, um, just be mindful of not looking at things through rose-colored glasses. Okay. I mean, Tana, are you able to... I'm almost booked out for start dates this year. So, are you... You can make a deposit to reserve a spot if you're open to doing that. But anyway, let me, um, I'll talk about that in a minute. King of Cups, what's outside of your control? Or circumstances, um, let me, sorry, hold on. Ooh, the energy is very high. I feel like you guys are like, what's more? What, tell me more, Jack. Tell me more, Jack. Tell me more, Jack. Anyway, hold on, I need water. Guys, breathe. Your energy is like up here right now. Wow. Some of you, uh, guys, who's not grounding every day? Mm. Aries full moon. You guys got to ground every day. Every friggin' day. Yeah, I'm probably calling everybody out because that's what I do, guys. <laughs> I feel like I say that all the time. I feel bad. Um, anyway. Factors outside of your control. King of Cups. Could be a Divine Masculine, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Could be someone in a higher level position. Um, so, for example, if you want to make a career change, um, excuse me, maybe there's like a manager or a boss that's like in your way. It's almost like, like someone else's authority is your block, is like a hurdle. Hold on. What are, what are you saying? I feel like it's someone else's opinion. Someone else's opinion. Um, or someone is in control of something that like it how can I Bart you gotta do better than that man it's like someone someone has like a different opinion of what you should be doing okay There's like, there's almost like a certain like protocol or like standard operating procedure that you need to follow in order to do something in your career. Um, Bart does talk a hundred miles an hour. He really does. The sun. Okay. And then Ten of Wands. King of Pentacles. Bart talks very fast. Um, but guys, you have to understand, I'm channeling 80 people spirit guides right now. Like, I have to funnel all of your spirit guides. Sometimes your past loved ones come in too, but I block them most of the time because then it's just like a crazy party. Um, but channeling that amount of spirit guides, it's not easy. Okay, yeah, I feel like someone controls, like, your money, or someone controls your property, or someone controls, like, your sent your stability here. Um, Yeah, it's like maybe the, your new beginning, you have like a few hoops to jump through is kind of what I'm feeling here because Sun, Ten of Wands. 
like for you to start something new, um, there's just like a few things, you, like a few like uh, procedures or things that you need to do. So if there are things that you guys need to check off your list and take care of, I would I would highly recommend that. Um, because guys, if you make this shift in your career, um, what you don't see coming is justice, balance, truth, you in alignment. Okay. Um, I'm going to clarify this. This is Libra energy, justice card. You being true to yourself, honestly. Like, the Justice card always gives me that vibe of integrity. Yeah, look at this. Truth. King of Swords. I knew it. King of Swords. To me, guys, Justice um, is a card of living your truth. Okay? In a career sense. Um, when it's when it says what you don't see coming, um, King of Swords, which is Aquarius energy, yeah, that Pluto and Aquarius man. That balance you guys are trying to achieve in your career, you trying to live your truth. It's just on the other side of you just got you guys formulating a plan, getting a plan together, writing down what you want to do. Four of Swords. <sighs> guys, once you str okay, and then Queen of Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Um, Queen of Cups is the is my card of the healer of emotional maturity, balance, um, the empath. Right, she's very intuitive. She's also, um, she, quiet confidence, quiet confidence. So what you don't see coming, if you guys choose to do this, right? What you feel is in alignment with your truth, justice card. That's going to bring in pursuing the balance you're looking for in your career space. King of swords. And you just get a little organized. Maybe you work with someone who can give you that structure Four of Swords, it's going to bring you a lot of ease, a lot of peace, a lot more rest. You're going to stop racking your brain. 77 people in the live. And then for the outcome, we have the Five of Swords. You leaving a toxic situation. Seven of Wands that you've been... Um, leaving a toxic situation where you like where there's like a lot of jealousy or people like coming at you it's almost like what you do is never good enough um, I feel like some of you are in a, a career space or a job where people like pass the buck like they give you things to do that are just not your responsibility and take credit for it maybe maybe there's like a lot of gossip or just like a lot of backstabbing just like a lot of like petty bullshit man or just like maybe some abuse there could be some abuse in your in your workspace um seven of wands um needing to constantly set boundaries there could be some hr issues but you being able to leave those things behind judgment yeah guys it the sting of leaving your current career or job and starting some starting what you want to start it might sting a little bit you may have to defend yourself from people there might be a little judgment but it's your calling man you're leaving the past behind 100 percent see if i can get one final message it's too many is this resonating for you guys let me know in the comments Too many. Just one. Thank you. Eight of Pentacles. Continue building. Continue building. Eight of Pentacles. Keep learning. Keep learning. The more you learn, the more confident you're going to become, and you can get paid for your skill set, right? Um, in your career space, like you're in a building phase, right? Um, 
you're, it's always a journey, guys. Like when I reach one goal in my business, I acknowledge it, I enjoy it, and then I'm like, what's next? Again, you got, and it, literally the proof is in my content, right? You saw me start with just tarot and Reiki, and now it's a little bit of tarot, guidance messages, but then life purpose uh, coaching, helping people embrace their calling, right? Because that's what I do every day. So Eight of Pentacles, um, maybe taking a class or a course to build your knowledge base or to become more confident in learning how to build what you want. Um, working up to maybe putting yourself on social media, maybe um, learning how to help people close cycles, generational cycles, find stability, make long lasting. To me, this is helping people build stronger foundations and lasting change. that's what I got for you guys. What a great reading. That was great. Beautiful. All right, guys. So let me know what resonated the most for you. Um, now I'm going to talk about this because it, <laughs> I channeled it yesterday and Bart's like, okay, we'll talk about it again.